Lily is a hard-working EMT whose only focus is her job. Her life gets turned upside down when a rich slacker named Jeff enters her life. She doesn't like him at first, but as she spends time with him, she learns there is more to him than just good looks and wealth. In the opening scene, we get to see the protagonist Lily. She is an attractive brunette with piercing brown eyes and a charming smile. In the EMT office, she spends her day with her coworkers until they receive a call. Receiving a call, they all get up and go about their mission. They successfully save a 15-year-old girl who broke her ankle. Returning to the office, Lily's coworker Nick complains about not sleeping the previous night because of his newborn. Lily excitedly asks about the baby, but Nick claims that the baby has turned them into zombies because it doesn't let them sleep. On the other side of the city, we get to see the love interest Jeff, a handsome, charming man with sharp features. Unlike Lily, he spends his afternoon surrounded by his friends at a pool party. Getting into the house, he is immediately greeted by Kirsten, an attractive young girl interested in him. She keeps throwing herself at him, despite him not being interested in her. He is on a phone call with some of his business partners trying to close a deal when Crystal invites him to the beach. He motions that he will be there in a second but she ignores his sign and becomes more persistent. Lily goes home after her shift ends where she finds her roommate baking cookies. Unfortunately, her roommate realizes that she's out of chocolate chips, so she asks Lily if she can go to the store. Being exhausted from work but wanting to help her friend, Lily decides to go to the store after she changes from her work clothes. Jeff gets home as well where he finds his father Rex working out, and they're made Veronica cooking some healthy meals that wouldn't be harmful to Rex's high blood pressure. Looking around in the fridge, he realizes that there's nothing for him to eat, so he grabs a slice of pizza. Before heading out, Veronica asks him to get her father's blood pressure pills from the store. Coincidentally, Lily and Jeff go to the store around the same time. Jeff parks his car in the no-parking zone when Lily notices him, so she tries to get him to move the car. After explaining that it is an emergency parking spot for emergency vehicles, she expects him to understand. But he gets in the store either way, claiming that he will move the car if an emergency occurs. Calling him a jerk, she decides to call the police, who call the tow truck, and Jeff's car gets towed right as he's getting out of the store. Shocked, he runs to the man and tries to bribe him with $500, but the man doesn't accept the money. Annoyed, he looks over to the store when he sees Lily coming out of it. He goes to her and starts asking her whether she's the one that called the tow truck. She proudly admits that she called the police and justified her action by reminding him that his parking might have cost someone's life if there was an emergency. He tries to guilt trip her as he mentions his father's heart problem and how he will be late with his medication because of her. Lily doesn't care as she continues her way home. Returning home, she slams the groceries down in anger, she can't believe that people like Jeff exist. Jeff complains to the maid once he gets home, he as well can't believe that people like Lily exist. He even calls her infuriating and self-righteous. Faith is about to bring Jeff and Lily together as the EMT is called to their house. Unfortunately, Rex tripped during a Zumba workout, and Veronica is afraid that he might have broken something. Nick and Lily get to the house and make sure that Rex is stable. While they're checking his reflexes, Jeff walks in and hands Rex a pack of ice. Looking up, he is surprised to see Lily in front of him, and she is surprised as well. Megan and Vince seem to be very relaxed as they are enjoying lunch, when Megan tells him that she won't be able to enjoy the night with him, as she'll be making cookies for the kids in her class. Megan's birthday is coming up, so Vince asks her what she wants to do about it. Annoyed about turning 30, she admits that she doesn't want to do anything. He tries to change her mind, but she uses the time as her excuse to leave. On the other side of town, Nick and Lily are done with Rex. Veronica walks them out and thanks them for their service. However, Jeff runs after them and stops Lily in her tracks. He wants to thank her properly, so he invites her to dinner but she simply replies with thanks, but no thanks. He can't believe that she said no to him, he even complains to Veronica but she laughs in his face. She thinks that rejection is exactly what Jeff needs to learn. Rejection isn't stopping Nick as he comes up with new ways to get her to change her mind. Flowers are sent to Lily in her EMT office and as she's looking at the flowers, a note catches her attention. How about that dinner? Call me, Jeff. Annoyed, Lily asks the delivery boy to put the flowers in the lobby as she wants nothing to do with them. His first attempt doesn't work out, but he doesn't stop there as he believes that she will call him, eventually. Forget dinner, how about dessert? You have my number, Jeff. This is the next note he sends her with a chocolate box. Nick tries to change her mind but she admits that she has no interest in going out with Jeff. He reminds her that all she ever wanted is for a guy to show interest in her, so he doesn't understand why she keeps rejecting him. Claiming that she would write him a note to thank him for the chocolates, she tries to throw the chocolates in the trash can when Nick stops her and takes the chocolates himself. Jeff spends his days thinking about Lily and why she keeps rejecting him. He is caught up in his mind when his father tells him that Lily has called Veronica to check up on him. Rex is extremely impressed with their professionalism and response time, so Jeff takes the chance to get closer to Lily. He suggests that they should do something and his father agrees. There seems to be trouble in paradise as Megan calls Vince to talk between classes, but he cuts her off and claims that he has work to do. 
What Megan doesn't know is that Vince had hung up the call to talk to Kelly. She asks him to meet and they settle on having lunch the following day, while Megan's at school. Good news arrives at the EMT center, as the head doctor lets Nick and Lily know that the hospital has gotten a generous donation because of their hard work. As the doctor introduces their Patreon, Lily is surprised to see Jeff in front of her. He claims that he wanted to show appreciation with the donation, and the doctor asks in what way they could show their gratitude. Jeff admits that he's always wanted to ride in an ambulance and the doctor suggests he rides with Lily and Nick for a week. Everyone is excited but Lily seems to be upset. Running after the doctor to her office, she claims that having Jeff in the ambulance could be dangerous. The doctor reminds her that Jeff and his organization are generous patrons, and Lily realizes that there's nothing she can do to change her mind. She goes back to her office only to find Nick and him having a blast. After finishing work, she goes home where she can finally vent to Megan. She explains everything that had happened and still can't believe how the doctor let him in just like that. Megan asks to see the famous guy and changes her mind once she realizes that it's Jeff Alexander. She, just like everyone else, thinks that he is an amazing guy because his organizations contribute to a lot of schools. Maybe you should give him a chance, pisses Lily off, and she claims that she has zero respect for someone who had everything given to them on a silver platter, as she has worked hard her entire life to be where she is. She reminds Megan of the time she got snubbed just because some guy made a donation to the school, and they let him in instead of her, despite her being the first place on the waiting list and him 22nd. Megan admits that she's right but thinks that such a rich lifestyle can't do any harm to her. Lily slams the laptop shut and claims that she and Jeff could never get together as their worlds apart. Little does she know the events that would take place after saying that. Walking into the office the next morning, Lily sees Jeff and Nick talking. Nick is telling Jeff some old stories when the emergency bell rings, signaling code 3. They get into the vehicle, Lily driving, and arrive at a big house. A little boy opens the door and they ask for his mother. Nick and Lily go take care of the lady passed out in the kitchen while Jeff and the little boy play catch outside. The EMT team successfully brings back the lady's consciousness because of her son. The little boy and Jeff can be seen playing with a ball in the front yard. Jeff assures the little boy that his mother is in great hands as Nick and Lily helped his father as well. Lily comes out to the front and seeing Jeff with the little boy makes her smile. She tells the boy that they're going to take his mother to the hospital and even invites him to ride with them in the ambulance. Megan goes to Vince's office to surprise him, unfortunately, that's when her suspicions start to rise. Walking into the office, she sees a distressed Vincent. Confused, he asks what she is doing there and she tells him that she has come to have lunch with him. His phone starts ringing and he puts it aside as she claims that he has to go to a lunch meeting. Megan sees the called ID and it is a girl named Keely, but acts oblivious and doesn't say anything about it. Walking back to the emergency, Jeff apologizes to Lily for the incident the previous day, as he finally realizes that every second counts. He asks her to start over and they shake hands on it. Jeff opens up to Lily, admitting that he feels for the little boy and she learns that he had lost his mother at an early age. He decides to try his chances with Lily once again as he asks her to go get sushi together, and to his surprise, she agrees. We get to see Keely for the first time and she is helping Vince choose a place for his private party. While Megan is assuming the worst, Vince has hired Keely to organize her 30th birthday party that includes a special surprise. Looking around, Vince settles a deal as the place is s big enough to fit a lot of people and a DJ in the middle. The night of the date comes and we can see Lily getting ready for it. She admits to Megan that she agreed to go because he had caught her off guard. Coming out of her room, she asks Megan how she looks and she tells her like she's going to a business meeting. Disappointed, she sits down and grabs the phone ready to cancel on Jeff when Megan reminds her that it would be rude to cancel at the last minute. Lily agrees but notices her friend not looking so well. She asks her about it and Megan complains about Vince's distance and even mentions Keely. Lily suggests she calls the date off and stays with her but Megan argues that she should go, and even suggests she should wear the blue dress. Jeff is shocked to see Lily and he compliments her beauty. Sitting down, Lily realizes that she can't afford anything that's on the menu, but Jeff lets her know that everything is on him. Letting her suspicion get to her, Megan searches for signs of cheating online. Almost everything on the list resonates with what Vince is doing, so naturally, she is sure that he is cheating on her. Her research gets interrupted by a phone call and it's Vince. He asks her to grab dinner but she lies that she had already eaten and invites him to come over. Things seem to be going great for Lily and Jeff as the conversations go well. She lets him know that she has wanted to be a doctor ever since the first grade when one of the kids broke their finger and all she wanted to do is help him. Los Angeles Medical School is where she wants to go and Jeff tells her that he's crossing his fingers for her. Jeff works as a philanthropist, so Lily asks him whether he enjoys doing it. Life is short, so enjoy it is his philosophy, and he claims that his job is to make sure other people enjoy life as well. Looking at him with a suspicious look, she admits that she's never heard philanthropy described like that. 
Jeff claims that a lot of people become philanthropists because of money, but money doesn't matter to him. Only someone with money would say that money doesn't matter, is what she tells him with a cheeky smile. But he reminds her that money on its own, really doesn't matter. He wonders how she doesn't attach herself to every patient and Lily admits that she has learned to disconnect herself from her job. Jeff admits that he felt heartbroken after seeing how scared the little boy was. He wants to make an organization about children like the little boy, and Lily supports him. Veronica and Rex sit down to watch a movie when he asks her what she thinks of Jeff and Lily. She claims that it's only the first date, but Rex assures her that they're meant for each other. Vince finally gets to the building and they sit on the bench in front of it. He hands her a bouquet which raises her suspicion even more. She feels neglected and worries whether they're having any relationship issues, but he assures her that they're good. They share a kiss and everything seems to be better, but little do they know the chaos that awaits their relationship. Jeff and Lily finish their sushi and as they're leaving, Crystal comes in. She is excited to see Jeff but he gets annoyed. Asking him to promise to come to her next gala, she snatches his phone to put her number on it. He tries to get it back as politely as he can and even apologizes to Lily for the situation. Crystal doesn't care about Lily being there and doesn't return the phone until her number's in it. Returning home, Lily sees Megan trying on a new dress. Worried, Megan turns around and admits that she thinks that Vince is cheating on her. She thinks that it's with some young girl named Keely, who is more attractive than her, and that's why she's trying on new clothes to make herself look better. She asks Lily how the date had gone, and Lily admits that she only wants to focus on medical school because Jeff resides in a completely different world. The next morning, Lily is surprised to see a buffet in the lobby of the hospital. Jeff has brought catering breakfast for everyone to enjoy. A red code catches everyone's attention, so all of them go back to work. Lily sits by her desk when Jeff comes over and tries to invite her to a second date when a code cuts him off. They go to the scene, trying to find the elderly woman that's been missing for two days. Jeff finally justifies his attendance by finding the answer to where the lady is. He calls out for Lily to read the letter he found, and Lily lets everyone know that the lady had gone on vacation. Vince's surprise party is slowly coming together as Keely comes to his office, so they can try some cake flavors. Setting the samples down, she gets out a milk bottle for them to cleanse their palates. While they're trying the delicious cake, Megan walks into the lobby and is stopped by the assistant who tells her that Vince is in a meeting. She hears a female voice inside, so she asks the assistant who Vince is having a meeting with. Hearing that Keely's inside makes Megan's stomach drop. She grabs the handle ready to enter but changes her mind quickly. Leaving in a hurry, she asks the assistant not to tell Vince that she was there. Sitting in the office, Lily receives a letter from the medical school but gets disappointed once she finds out that she has been waitlisted. However, a code notification interrupts her moment and she puts the bad news aside. Coming back to the hospital, Lily stays in the can to clean it. Being left alone, Jeff takes the chance to ask Lily on a date, and they settle on going out this weekend. The weekend comes and Lily goes to Megan for an opinion on her outfit. However, she sees that Megan's upset. Megan strongly believes Vince is cheating on her and doesn't even answer his calls. Dealing with such a situation makes Megan think about everything in her life. She believes that she has not accomplished anything in life. Lily assures her that she is a young successful woman who has a whole life in front of her to do great and accomplish what she wants. She reminds her that her friends and family are around her and support her whether Vincent is in her life or not. Jeff picks Lily up and takes her to an exciting place. She has inspired him to open the Alexander Kid Cam, and his goals are to help children cope with the losses of their loved ones. When he lost his mother, he was sent to a camp where he was reminded that he is supposed to have fun because he is a child. Standing in front of her with a smile, he asks her to become a part of the whole organization, and she promises to teach the kids first aid. Vince keeps calling Megan but she doesn't answer. Keely comes to his office and he complains to her that Megan's not answering his phone calls and thinks that it's because she's turning 30. Keely advises him to let her be because it's not about how old she's turning, it's about what it means to her. Vince thinks that a nice birthday party will help her cheer up, so they get to planning. Megan and Jeff walk around the camp when they're met with a set-up picnic on the bridge. He asks her to close her eyes, and when she opens them she sees food and drinks prepared. Sitting down, Jeff admits that he planned the picnic to cheer her up a bit. He proposes a toast, and they clink their glasses in the name of life. Looking down, Lily apologizes to Jeff for judging him too soon. Just because he's wealthy doesn't mean that he's arrogant. Jeff admits to being ignorant before meeting her, and thanks her for opening his eyes to the real him. The date goes great as Jeff takes Lily back home in the evening. Standing at the top of the stairs to her building, Lily thanks him for the amazing day before leaving. Jeff stops her and lets her know that he will be with Rex in London for a gala. He mentions Crystal's gala only to invite her as his date to it. Lily thinks that Crystal wouldn't like her, but Jeff assures her that he doesn't care what Crystal thinks, as he gets closer to her. Coming closer to her, he kisses her on the cheeks, before heading back to his car. Returning home, Lily is met with a calmer Megan. She admits that Lily's right and agrees with everything she said. Her words motivate her to apply to grad school. Jeff and Rex go to London for their meeting. After the meeting, Jeff lets his father in on more information as to why he's opening the kid camp. 
Rex is proud of his son. Stop in in his track, he turns to Jeff and reminds him that it's important to let the one you love know how you're feeling because you never know how much you have left. Their father-son moment is interrupted by no other than Crystal. He is surprised to see her in London, and the reason she's there is because her friend is walking in a fashion show. Greeting his father, she invites them to come to the show, and even though Jeff tries to give a lame excuse, Rex doesn't catch on to it and makes them go. Nick is wondering where the philanthropist is the next morning at the office when Lily tells him that he's in London. Concerned, he asks her to be careful with Jeff. He admits that Jeff is a great guy, but he is in a completely different world. Lily assures him that Jeff is a nice guy and that she knows what she's doing. Vince finally gets the answer as to why Megan's not answering his calls, but it makes him even more worried. His assistant lets him know that Megan thinks that he's cheating because he has been spending a lot of time with Keeley. Running out of the office, Vince thinks of a plan to win Megan back. Rex and Jeff return to the house, and Rex gives Veronica her favorite tea and biscuits. In the evening, he takes Veronica to the backyard where he has champagne and flowers for her. Putting them a glass, he reminds her that she has been his friend, his rock, and his companion. She has shown love and support throughout the years and Rex considers her his family. He claims he wants to make it official as he pulls out an engagement ring and gets on his knee. Veronica, I want you to know how deeply I cherish you. Will you marry me? Tears fill Veronica's eyes as she's shocked by the sudden gesture. She finally says yes and they share a passionate kiss. Good news seems to be everywhere around the city as Lily receives her acceptance call from the Los Angeles Medical School. Excitedly, she tells the head doctor and she congratulates her. The next day, she receives a medical kit package from Jeff, congratulating her on getting into the school. She tells Crystal that she hasn't told him that she's gotten in yet when she asks her what she's going to wear. Realizing that Lily has nothing suitable for the gala, she takes her to a thrift shop for a designer dress, where they find a gorgeous purple dress. Lily's just about to put her shoes on when she glances at Megan's computer screen. Getting closer, she sees Jeff with Crystal and her model friend as the headline of the magazine. However, another article catches her attention. The article says that Jeff had donated a million dollars to the Los Angeles Medical School. Shocked, Lily is sure that it was Jeff who bribed the school for her to get in. Furious, she puts her shoes on and goes to confront Jeff at the party. Getting in, she searches for him until she finds him with Crystal around his arm, of course. He greets her and calls her stunning, which, of course, catches Crystal's attention. Looking at her dress, Crystal admits that she had the same one but it was donated to charity. She claims that she had a little stain at the top, as she reaches to look at the dress. Realizing that Lily's wearing her dress, Crystal starts laughing and telling everyone that it's her dress that she's wearing. It catches everyone's attention which makes Lily leave as she's embarrassed. Jeff runs after her, trying to stop her when she stops herself to take her shoes off. She admits that she knows about the donation but he doesn't know what she's talking about. Their conversation is interrupted by people asking for a paramedic. Running back, Lily sees a man lying on the floor passed out. She successfully brings the man back to his consciousness, just in time when the EMT arrives. Crystal thanks her for saving his life and even claims that the dress looks better before going back to the guests. Jeff comes to her but she interrupts him before he can speak. She breaks things off as their worlds are apart. He asks her if she's sure, and because she doesn't say anything, he walks off not wanting to bother her anymore. Both of them spend the next few days thinking of each other, but none of them does anything about it. The day of Megan's birthday comes and she wakes up to a pack of donuts and a birthday card from Lily. It makes her feel better about turning 30, but little does she know what's about to happen that same night. Lily can be seen at work calling the Los Angeles Medical School to decline her entrance. Luckily though, Nick snatches her phone in time. Vince walks into the office and tells Lily all about his situation. He admits that he's been planning a big surprise party for Megan's birthday, but he has to cancel it because Megan thinks he's cheating. Lily assures him that she'll take it, and sure enough, Lily takes Megan to the designated place, previously lying to her that they'll be going out for dinner. She takes her hands off Megan's eyes, and Megan is surprised to see everyone there. Out of the crowd comes Vince with a bouquet of red roses. He introduces Keely to Megan and reveals that she is the party planner. Megan apologizes for doubting him but he assures her that everything's fine. The music blasts through the speakers as everybody dances and has an amazing time. It switches to a slower, more romantic melody, and all the couples dance together. Vince takes the chance to give Megan the real present as he gets down on one knee and proposes to her. Megan says yes, and everyone cheers in excitement as they share a kiss. Lily gets to the dance floor and congratulates the newly engaged couple. While everyone's celebrating, Jeff seems to be upset about Lily. Rex advises him to call her but Jeff claims that she made it clear that she doesn't want him in his life. Jeff isn't the only one struggling though, Lily can't seem to get him out of her mind. Handing her a cup of hot cocoa, Megan advises her to put her pride aside if she doesn't want to lose a good guy, and those words stick with Lily. The next morning, as Lily's telling Nick how she's going to call the Los Angeles Medical School, the head doctor walks into the office and asks Lily about her dropping out. Lily tells her about the donation, but she lets Lily know that she made a call on her behalf, and that's why they accepted her. Falling back into her chair, Lily realizes the mistake she had made. 
Ringing the doorbell, she hopes to see Jeff, but she sees Veronica, who tells her that Jeff is at the campsite. Arriving at the camp, she finally sees Jeff, and he is surprised to see her. She admits that she has to emotionally disconnect when it comes to her work because she cares too much. Coming out of that shell is difficult because she's used to staying in it. Doing everything by herself has made her have personal pride, and that's why she's so against anyone's bribes. She apologizes to Jeff for accusing him of getting her off the waitlist and wishes for them to have a fresh start. Jeff doesn't want a new start, he wants them to continue as he is already madly in love with her. Lily admits that she's in love with him, and they share their first kiss. Love unites these people, despite them being from different worlds. 